Dachshund is a remarkable little dog with a high level of energy and a lot of love for their families. In today's video, we'll be comparing this fun-loving breed with the English Bulldog. The English Bulldog is an impressive breed. They're a popular dog that thrives off the attention of their human companions. Welcome back to the Fenrir Dachshund Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Dachshund, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Dachshund. So, if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Dachshund upload. So, let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The Dachshund was developed in Germany where they were used to hunt badgers, which explains their name. Dax meaning badger and Hund meaning dog. Illustrations of dogs resembling the breed can be found in the 15th century drawings and documents from the 16th century write about the earth dog and badger creeper. Dachshunds were also used to hunt den animals including foxes and rabbits and packs of dachshunds would trail wild boar. The breed continued to develop and was refined in Germany over many years by German foresters in the 18th and 19th century. They wanted to create a breed that was fearless and elongated that could dig into burrows and go into these burrows to fight the animal to death if necessary. Smooth-coated dachshunds were the original type and believed to have been created through breeding with the Brock, a small French pointing breed, and the Pincher, a small terrier type ratter. It's thought that the French Basset Hound may have played a part in the development. The long-haired dachshunds were most likely created through crossing with spaniels and the wire-haired dachshunds through crossing with terriers. In the 1800s, dachshunds were being bred more as pets than hunters, particularly in Britain, and were favourites of royalty. The English Bulldog descended from ancient Mastiff-type dogs and were developed entirely in England. The very first mention of this breed was in the 1500s, where the dogs were used in bull baiting, which was where the dogs would grab onto the bull's nose and roughly shake it, which was thought to tenderise the bull's meat. The early bulldogs were much taller and heavier than the bulldogs we have today. They were bred specifically for the bull baiting sport, with wide mouths, powerful jaws and very high tolerance of pain. After several years of controversy surrounding the sport, in 1835 bull baiting was outlawed in England and because at the time bulldogs were not seen as companions, people were worried about the consequences of the breed. However, many people admired the bulldog's incredible strength and persistence, so decided to save the breed through breeding them to have a sweet and gentle temperament instead of the tenacious and aggressive character they were first bred to have. Breeders selected dogs that had a more relaxed temperament for breeding and were able to turn the once aggressive breed into a gentle and affectionate breed. An adult male English Bulldog weighs around 50 pounds and adult females weigh around 40 pounds with show dogs occasionally being around 10 pounds heavier than the average. Both male and female English Bulldogs stand around 12 to 15 inches at the shoulder. Bulldogs have a short straight and smooth coat which is generally very glossy in texture. They have heavy wrinkles covering their head and two loose folds on the throat known as a dewlap. English Bulldogs can be quite a variety of colours including red, brindle, all other brindles, solid white, solid red, fawn, fallow and piebald which is large patches of two or more colours. Hey guys, I wanted to very quickly let you know if you're not already that you should absolutely be following us over on Instagram. There'll be links down in the description box below but we've got multiple Instagrams. One for Fenrir, our company where you can see all of the awesome things that we're doing over there. You could follow me personally over on Instagram or maybe come and check out our journey with our 12 week old English Mastiff puppy Eileen. Either way, can't wait to see you over there. Dachshunds are bred and shown in two different sizes, being standard and miniature. Standards usually weigh between 16 to 32 pounds and miniatures weigh 11 pounds and under. Smooth Dachshunds have a short and shiny coat that can be a variety of colours including red, cream, black, chocolate, grey, fawn and tan. They can be single coloured, two coloured or even dappled. Wire-haired dachshunds coats are very different in comparison to the smooth-haired dachshunds as they have short, thick and rough hair as a top coat with a soft undercoat. And the most common colour for a wire-haired 
is a wild ball colour. Long-haired dachshunds have a silky and slightly wavy long coat which gives them a rather elegant appearance. This breed does shed but not in a majority excessive amount and their coat is pretty low maintenance. The lifespan of the dachshund ranges from 12 to 13 years. As with all dog breeds they can be more prone to particular health conditions which is incredibly important to be aware of before bringing a dachshund into your home. Certain health conditions that dachshunds are more prone to include back problems, epilepsy, degenerative eye disorders, bloat, hormonal conditions, diabetes and deafness. English bulldogs are also prone to particular conditions due to breeding, especially that of eye problems including cherry eye, dry eye and entropion, plus a syndrome found in dogs with short heads and narrow nostrils where the airways are obstructed. They can also suffer from head shakes, mange, hip dysplasia, tail problems and other bone and joint conditions. English Bulldogs are sociable dogs with a sweet and loving nature. They have a courageous character and can make an incredible watchdog. They can be quite stubborn due to their persistent nature, which can make training difficult, but with patience and consistency, they can be wonderful family companions. They're friendly dogs that tend to get on well with everyone and are especially great with kids as they love to play and have the company of their family. The Dachshund is a clever, high energy and courageous little dog that was bred to persevere, meaning they can pretty much be stubborn when they want to be. They have a reputation of being very entertaining pups and fearless in character. They adore their owners and long for affection and plenty of cuddles and playing. Like every breed, dachshunds need to be socialised from an early age in order for your pup to grow into a well-balanced adult dog that's less wary of strangers and unfamiliar dogs or other animals. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated dachshund videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Dachshund Show.